uh, in us i know that getting a master degree will cost you 30 to 40 lakh rupees correct when you convert it to rupees it will cost you 30 to 40 lakh rupees for two years hello and welcome everyone if you are new to this channel then my name is amit patel and uh, you are watching musings with software engineers if you are new then uh, subscribe to this channel because on this channel i share ideas inside tools and tactics so if you want to grow uh, really fast in the software industry then subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you do not miss any updates kedar kulkarni hi kedar how are you hi sir what is the best for software career in long term self learning or doing masters in foreign country like usa or germany in the long run doing a masters is good if you have the capacity okay uh, some people have the capacity to do masters masters is cost right uh, so there is a cost involved where you have to show a bank balance you have to have some money in the bank to show uh, to be able to get the visa uh, there are exams there is a preparation time for uh, doing masters that is the gre and everything so if depending on the capacity if you do masters then it is going to have a lot of value okay you cannot compare that value with self learning okay one thing is in self learning we we are usually humans are not so disciplined people it's very difficult there is like 0.01% people who are disciplined in life okay and these are the top people like if you think about jeff bezos bill gates uh, steve jobs uh, maybe uh, our own uh, mr mukesh ambani uh, you know sachin tendulkar these these are all amazingly successful people because of their discipline okay but if you count that you will either see 0.01 or 0.001 or 0.001 percent people who are really disciplined okay who are able to do things on their own are you getting my point so it becomes very easy when you go into a curriculum even even if you do an online course like if you do nowadays uh, like on coursera and edx you get the best of universities having their online courses of course it is one fourth of getting a master's degree so the cost is negligible compared to a master's degree a master's degree getting a master's degree uh, in us i know that getting a master's degree will cost you 30 to 40 lakh rupees correct when you convert it to rupees it will cost you 30 to 40 lakh rupees for two years okay whereas when you are doing an online course okay for let's say a data science specialization at the max you are going to spend like maybe 23000 to do an online certification course in data science specialization from stanford okay even if you pay one year's fees on coursera which is like uh, the, the, if you if you go to uh, there is a link in the description of this video on the resources page and there uh, there is a uh, there is a banner on the resources page which says 3000 courses you can do within one year okay that is like something that coursera has come up with where you can pay a fees of one year and you can do as many certifications as you want depending on your capacity okay and even if you do a entire 23000 rupees in that you do an entire data science specialization that is just 23,000 rupees. So compare how much is the cost of getting an online certification versus the degree. But when you de get a master's degree, master's degree is going to be four times valuable in the long run. In the long run, it is going to be very valuable. Okay. Once you do the master's degree and after that, if you have uh, even 10 to 15 years of experience after doing a master's degree chances of you becoming uh, a vice president or a CTO chief technology officer or uh, a, a COO chief operations officer or a CEO 
of some product company or or some services company is very high it is very high okay you will see if you go and check all these product companies you will see some job description just say masters degree required okay there a normal be or btech cannot even apply even with experience like i am just a be engineer i cannot apply to a lot of job applications which require 20 years of experience but it also requires a masters degree okay i cannot apply to those yes if i go out now and get a masters degree then maybe i'll be able to apply okay and there is no age for learning so i would say that masters degree in us or germany is absolutely a no brainer okay if i if you have the capacity uh, of both the time energy and money if you have that capacity then of course it's a no brainer you should do it but let's say for some reason you are not able to do a masters degree then you instead of doing self learning okay from books and other things i would suggest to uh, uh, enroll into an online course with a proper syllabus and a proper certification which will give you one fourth of the value of a masters degree but it will be still better than not having a certification or still better than just being a a software engineer with just the knowledge of self of whatever you have learned through experience okay so it it's very valuable that way okay for b pass out students uh, of course uh, for b pass out students there are a lot of students who do masters immediately after b which is good uh, but uh, as i said that for doing masters there is no age and in fact if you work for one or two years and after that if you pursue your masters then you will actually understand how the industry works and which will be better for you when you are doing your masters because then your education will be totally at a different level okay what you'll be doing is you'll be uh, doing an intention intention based learning intention based learning means you will know exactly what what are you trying to achieve by doing this masters degree see when we did be we did not have any idea about uh, how the companies work how software companies work how the entire software development life cycle works if we got that idea in 12th standard itself we could make a more informed decision and the four years would be much better we would have a much better knowledge of what we need to learn properly so that we can use it in the uh, In, in the industry okay so doing a master degree after one or two or three years of work is also very valuable it is 100% more valuable I always say that if you complete your b then first get a job and then decide whatever else you want to decide okay i've seen a lot of people do a job and then uh, go and do a master's degree and they are very valuable resources my own friend a very good friend he did masters uh, degree from texas uh, university after he worked in lnt larson and tubro for 2 years so he worked in larson and tubro for 2 years and after that he went to do masters in texas university and after that he got two offers one was hp and one was intel he first joined hp 6 months he did not like hp he left hp and joined intel and since then he is with intel then now it is like 20 years he is with intel okay uh, and i know from his financial uh, well being that he's done he's done really well 100% uh, uh, 10 times better than if he would have just been an engineer with lasan and to bro i hope kedar uh, uh, you you are able to make a decision on this and and move forward on this okay let me know whatever you decide so subscribe to this channel before you go like this video if you have liked what i have discussed so far in the video okay share this video with your friends so that we can grow as much as possible uh, thank you very much stay focused stay rich and see you in the next live